Hi guys, welcome back to another video breakdown. Like always, we'll check out latest videos of big creators and learn some awesome techniques. Make sure to watch the video till the end as I'm sure you will learn many new tips and tricks which you can replicate in your own talking head video or for your client. Let's get started. Jagannath Yatra Karne Aayenge Toh Wahi Pe Goli Maari Jayegi. See, the first section that we see in his videos is the coming next section. The sole purpose of this is to increase the retention and give a quick preview of what's going to come next. The images that we see over here has an overlay. Let's see how we can easily create that. These overlays are usually called as TV scans or vintage CTR monitor effect. Let's open a new tab and search for TV scan line. See, something of this, anything, you can just quickly download it. Let's go to After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We'll call it as Effect 1. I have taken few images of Modi over here. Let's drag one to a timeline and scale it up. This is that overlay of TV scan line. I'm just dropping it to a timeline. If I zoom in, you can see we have that overlay. But if you want to make it bigger, something similar to this, then all we need to do is just place on S and scale it up. Say like this. And if you feel that this is too dark, then you can just decrease the opacity. So just place on T and you can decrease the opacity. So you can play around with this. So right now this is colorful. If you want to make it black and white, just click on this and let's add a tint effect. See, we've got a similar image like this. If you want to increase the saturation, you can also add the curves. You can just take this point up and this point like this. Let's move on. Jaisa hi Amish Shah ko CVI arrest karke le jati hai, har kamp man jata hai Gujarat mein. See, again he has used the same effect over here. This time he has used a different overlay. So like this over here, you can check. There are a lot of different, different overlays. So you can just use this. Or even if you want to just use the same one. You can just even come over here, press S and play around with the scale. You can increase it all the way up. And again, you can play around with the opacity. Oh, this is clear. Now let's see the next effect. This recording is leaked. So if we pause this at any moment, we can see that he has added two effects mainly. The first one is a light leak transition, which you can see over here. This is very easy to add. You can simply just put it as an overlay and then change the mode to multiple. The other effect which you can see over here is these light particles, which are floating over here. Again, this is a free effect and you can find it anywhere you want. You can just simply search for light effect on Pexels or on any free of the websites and you will easily find it. Just make sure that when you add it to your video, you change the blending mode of it and keep it at screen or multiple. As a small gift for you, I have provided you free light leak transitions in the description. So make sure to check it out. Now you can see each and every time a new image is coming, there is a transition happening. So there are different names to this transition. Either you can call it zoom in blur transition or pushing blur transition. As you can see over here, the images are initially getting zoomed in and whatever is on the outside is getting blurred. So in case you don't have this transition, you can simply add new new images and then on the edges, you can add Gaussian blur. Now let's move on to the third effect. Again, this effect is very easy to create. All he has done is created a very big canvas and on top of it, he has added basic 3D. Let me show you how we can do this in After Effects. Let's create a new canvas. Just this time, make sure that the height instead of 1080 is something like 3000. So we have a big canvas to play with. Let's add a new solid. We'll keep it as white. Okay. Then I have some images over here. We can just add it over here. Press S. Scale this up. I just place them one by one. I'll show this example to you with just 10 images but you can add maybe like 15-18 images to create it exactly the way he has done it. And we just quickly make few duplicates of this and we'll just keep it over here for your reference. See like this we can just arrange this. Now create another new composition. This time make sure that it is by 1920 by 1080. Press OK. Then add the composition which we created into this. Now press P to adjust the position. Scale this up. At the start it will be over here. We can add a keyframe if you want this effect to happen for 3 seconds. So go to 3 seconds and then you can take it all the way up. Like this. You can select both of them and press F9 to add an easy effect. Next, we need to add basic 3D to this. So let's again search for basic 3D. Go to the start. You can play around with the swivel and tilt. Let's press Shift and press P. So you get the position. Because at the start, maybe we'll need to keep it little up. Like this. You can click on this and press U. This will open up all the effects. Add a keyframe in Swivel and as well as Tilt. Go ahead to 3 seconds. At this point, you can change this. Maybe something like this. Tilt it over here. So let's again press S and let's increase the scale a bit. And press P 
and let's adjust the position so that we don't have any black spaces over here this is very similar to how they have done it over here let me just show it to you again so the only thing which we did not add right now was the fade in effect so in order to add the fade in effect so all you need to do is just come back to over here for each and every one just press T add a keyframe opacity we will go over here and another keyframe for the first one make it zero so that it fades in so basically for the second one we we'll start over here so again you can press T add opacity make this zero go two frames ahead and make this 100 okay so it will look as if this will come then this will come then third fourth fifth like that now this is clear by the way if you want to learn after effects from scratch and become a master I've got all this in my free master class. Make sure to check it out. Let's move on. See. See, again, whenever he shows images, right? These are not simple images. On most of them, there is some overlay or another. Right now, you can see for this image, right? There's a different overlay. So it gives the image a very vintage look. So in order to get this type of effect, you can simply search for grunge texture overlays or dust and scratch overlays or vintage texture overlays. You'll easily find it on any of the free websites. When you apply it on the image or the video, over here you keep the blending mode as screen or multiply. Okay, let's move on now. See, again, when you saw this, when the scene started, at that time, the clouds were opening up. You can search for this overlay on YouTube. Just search for clearing cloud overlay. And you can easily find it. Now, once those clouds get cleared, and he, when he's zooming in on the map, this is done using GeoLayers and Google Maps. So if you are interested in learning about it, just comment GeoLayers and I'll create a dedicated video on this topic. Patana, me ek area hai. See, it's just zooming in on the particular place. Agol. Pe ek... This effect where you can see everything got vanished. This is called as ink splash effect. Where he has merged both the layers and added ink splash and just removed the alpha of it. Okay, now let's see the final effect. See, this looks like a very cool effect. Let me explain you how to do this. Firstly, we saw that he was in the middle. So just by adding a keyframe in position, he has shifted it on the left. Then there's a circle which comes from the behind. And then there's a picture of the bungalow. All he has done is just added a slide in moment. So as you can see over here, let me just play it again. So he has popped in the screen. This comes from the right and he shifts over here on the left. And then we have news over here which is going to pop up from behind the bungalow. On the background, you can see there are a few buildings which has been blurred out. This is how the entire scene was composited. In all in all, you can see that there are five components to it. First is the bungalow, the person, the background, the news which pops up from behind the bungalow and the background which is there to the person. And mainly on the overlay part, you can see over here, there is this flying particle which is coming up. So these are flying fire particles which you can easily add and just change their color to white. I hope this video was useful. I am planning to create a series of this kind. So let me know in the comments which creator you would like me to cover next.